And something that everybody's predicted is that banks are going to go cashless. We have often discussed how, you know, Australia's basically at the front of the curve, ahead of the curve, they say, in terms of everything that is global government, you know, with their... The front of the their, crazy train. Yeah, their camps, their, you know, locking people up. They have the word police. They have the, you know, the cops where they can tell you to to move on, just like in England, a move on uh, order where they can say don't you can't stand there. Their fifth largest bank, which in a small country like that may not seem that major, but it is an international monetary fund. And I don't mean the IFF, but it's called the uh, Macquarie Bank. It's a worldwide investment group. Wikipedia listed it as the biggest investment group in the world. You know, I can't verify what Wikipedia says. So let's just because it didn't have a citation, of course. So let's just assume it's a very powerful bank. They are eliminating cash and check and bank or uh, over the phone bank payments for all their all their locations so not only can you not call in to pay your bills or anything which i know a lot of people like to do a a lot of old people but you can't go in and you can't you know withdraw cash from a teller can't pay stuff with cash and they say that you can't do with checks either you'll still be able to work do that through atms but their argument here is that one percent of people are using cash and checks. I still use, I use checks. The man's got rent to pay and cash, you know, because of reasons like this, I feel like everybody should have cash. And it goes to show you like, like a good example of that, Eric, I would say is California being like, just get an electric car. We're going to ban them anyways. They're amazing. Oh, there's too much power being used. We're going to have to shut off your electric cars. Like that's the obvious thing where you let, let everything be digital in the, in the government's control. And they're going to screw you. So between January and November of 2024, they'll phase out all their cash and checks. So you basically can't operate with it. And they're going to start in March, elimination of automated telephone banking. And then in May, depositing or withdrawing cash or checks over the counter will no longer be possible. And you can no longer order checkbooks. And then in November... Writing or depositing checks, including bank checks, will be completely phased out. Super annotation contributions or payments using checks will also cease. I'm going to go first, Eric, and say that this is a way that they can just, they want to be able to track every single thing you do and shut you off if you don't comply with something. It's very easily and openly connected through the, the United Nations and the World Economic Forum, and now even the G20, that they want you to have a digital ID passport. And what happens if you don't comply? you know, with your vaccine passport in the past, well, you don't get access to things. It's basically a different way to implement a social credit score system. And that'll be the first thing to go will be your bank account, as we saw under Justin Trudeau. Yeah. Um, Well, that's the standard conspiracy theorist point, right? Like, oh, they want to control everything, which is uh, quite obviously true. You can I just chalk up another another W for the conspiracy theorists as far as I'm concerned with this one. But um, I mean, I guess what else did we expect, right? Like this is news to me. I saw you sent me the link earlier, but like you said, they were at the cutting edge. They were the tip of the spear as far as like locking people down and like their whole little concentration camps went super viral. So it makes sense. And I, I would argue that it would be more surprising if they weren't to do something like this. So this is obviously another step in just, I mean, if there's one place in the world, in the country or wherever you're at, there's one place that should have cash, you would think it would be the bank. So now everything else is going by the wayside, right? Like that's basically them eliminating it entirely, right? Or you can get cash from an ATM, I guess, if you want to buy dope. Like wh- <laughs> there's no... This effectively ends cash entirely. Am I am I completely off base, base in saying that? I don't know. It's it's de- definitely something they want to do to influence other banks to to do it, and it's definitely something they want to do to influence other businesses to stop doing it. But therein lies the problem. People like doing shady business. I tell you, there. I tell you about this convenience store I know about. This Bodega, as Jill Biden might say where clearly the stuff 
doesn't come from Canada where I am because there are brands and flavors and colors I've never seen before in the drinks. And, you know, you go to some place and they're like pay in cash and you get a tax free. Everybody's been to a place like that. I would never shop at a place like that. But everybody's always going to they're just going to create a criminal underworld of cash. And it's like when you try to eliminate something in a legal sense, it always creates, you know, it always creates the, this demand. It's the same. People use the same argument for, for drugs. And as soon as you make or guns, and as soon as you make them illegal, they're not just going to go away. People are just going to use it in a different way. But if you completely say that using cash is illegal, I don't think that, ha- I don't think you can do that legally in the United States. I think they want to change that. You can do that in Canada. I know. And probably Australia, it seems they just have to have a payment method available yeah but in in america like you you again none of it's genuine you can't like do you think that they're gonna just abide by the laws like that ship sailed bro like constitution like there's it's complete lawlessness right like there's there nobody is going to abide by any any of these rules nobody is going to abide by anything they even said last week right how many times are we gonna hear about like i mean how many clips of uh, Democrats are, are we going to watch saying, "Oh, sanctuary city," and then fast forward two years and like, "Oh, it's too much." Like <laughs> nothing in like none none of it makes any sense. And what's even stranger about this, if you want to get super, um, uh, maybe it's not conspiratorial, but at least in a place like certain places in America, they they want you to do. Okay, I shouldn't say they want you to do, but they promote drug use and clean needles and safe injection mm-hmm. sites and all that stuff. So. They're not they it's it's like on the one hand, they want you to do this shady stuff, but they want you to do this shady stuff through like government approval almost. Like that's why you go to the to, to the the safe injection sites, which in certain cities I think they're getting rid of because surprise, it didn't work. Um neither here nor there. But I guess my point is it's funny how they want to get rid of cash eventually in one form or another, but I would also venture to say they would love to have people just being zonked out on dope all day. And I don't know how else you're going to buy that. Are we supposed to be Apple paying the dope dealers now? They just want they all that stuff. I would say they want to get their cut is is, you know, we people are doing heroin anyways. We might as well provide them needles. Then we can get use government money to do that. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be a surprise that this bank is all in on everything terrible they have. It didn't take more than five minutes for me to find it. Their racial equity and their ESG page, which they're just bragging about. I'll show it to you briefly. The racial equity fund from this group. They want to support nonprofits and advance solutions that promote equitable and equitable and just society for all people in the Americas. Doesn't mean anything, but they do list who they're giving stuff to. We and we can look Asian American Arts Alliance. Everybody but white is. people. We got Clarify. everybody but white people. Yes. Unless you're gay. And then maybe maybe you can get stuff. But they're not even really gay. You have to be fully trans to get something even. So it, it, it's an absolute mess. Oh, yeah. All right. Here's your black farmer for the racial equity fund. And um, did I click on the wrong thing here? I meant to um, racial equity, Macquarie. Oh. Well, they're e- we'll go back to this one. Um, the ESG social and, and social governance doctrine it says, oh, they're committed to net zero by 2050, of course. They have nine over 90 green energy assets, and they're very committed, and it reflects our responsibility to our clients or shareholders. You know, whatever the next thing's going to be, they're it, just replace this line with it because it they're already showing through BlackRock and Vanguard that they're massively reducing their investments in esg stuff and who they lend money to which of course only just means they're going to hide it in my opinion they're going to do it a different way they'll call it something else they don't even want to use these words anymore but just replace that paragraph there with macquarie's you know transgender youth nonprofit program reflects our responsibility you know what i mean like whatever it's going to be they're going to lie about it. it's also funny how they can at any given point always tie something into climate change every single thing like joy behar Uh, Talking about, oh, well, the the migrants and it's going to get worse to live because of climate change and banking has something to do with climate change. It's all completely ridiculous. But 
I think it's gotten so extreme because people are starting to more and more starting to not buy it. So they're getting more and more extreme trying to claim that you're the you're the extremist. Right. So the more there, it's the death throes. That's what I think. That's what I hope. Knock on wood. Turn it up, Jordan.